I think for a lot of people, the whole concept of taking a client out to a meal, or even worse perhaps, going out to a meal with the boss can be very intimidating. There are a whole host of issues that people will encounter from how to interact with the server, which bread plate is theirs, which glass is theirs, that can prove really embarrassing if they do the wrong thing. So if you're out with your boss, you definitely don't want to break the bank. No matter how big the budget might be, you let the boss determine what should be spent on that meal. Pose an innocent question. I've never been to this restaurant before. The menu looks great. Do you have anything to recommend? And certainly the boss is not going to recommend something that's too expensive or that's gonna break the budget. The reverse is true if you're with a client. So you never want the client to feel like he or she has to scrimp on what they order because your budget is not big enough. So you wanna make some suggestions to that client. Oh, I've been here before, I don't know if you have, but some of the things that I've very much liked, and you can suggest a range of items so that you're basically letting the client know, it's okay, you can order whatever you want, don't be afraid. With alcohol, of course, you really do wanna be careful. I say everybody has a limit, I can't tell you what your limit is, but what I can tell you is that you should stop well short of it. Now, if the boss is having spaghetti or a really messy sandwich, let him or her deal with the mess of that. I would stick to things, especially if you're not very practiced in the right way to hold your utensils, in something that doesn't require your hands and can easily be picked up in, with a fork where you're not looking like you've got food dribbling out of your mouth because that's not a picture anybody wants to leave with. A few other basics, there's of course, which side is the bread? Which side is the wine? How do I know which one I'm supposed to grab? Very simply, if you take your fingers in your mind and you do this, I'm making a B and a D, okay? So that means that this is the bread and this is your drink. So that's a very simple rule. That it, again, if you can just kind of practice it when you're at home, don't do it when you're out with the boss. If you, if you start going like this, he's gonna think you're a little nutty. But if you do it on your own at home and you can reinforce that, your bread always on the left, your drink is always on the right. The check, that gets a little bit uncomfortable too. So for those who are taking a client out, I advise leave your credit card with the restaurant when you arrive. So that way when the check comes, there's none of that fake, oh, well let me, own. oh and here's some, the check arrived and it's already been processed against your credit card. You never pay cash for business. You're never whipping out singles and quarters. Again, it's not gonna look professional. Versus the check arrives in the billfold, it's already been run against your credit card. You just sign and you're done. If you're being taken out by the boss, it's just that, you are being taken out by the boss and you're not expected to chip in, you're not expected to pull out your credit card. That seems like you're trying to trump the boss and that we don't wanna do.